Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So today I'm going to show you how I turned this ash body into something like this beauty here. So let's roll the intro and we can begin. Okay guys, so lately I've been looking for some different uh, types of finishes for this ash body. As you might know, ash is highly open pores and I wanted something that it will stand out from normal finish rather than just put true oil and leave it like it is. So I've been looking online and I came across this particular technique which is called Serus Finish. And yeah, so I looked it up, I saw some pictures. Well, it's very common for Ash Body to be in this kind of finish. Basically what you have is a uh, the body will be stained in a particular color and then the grain will be accent, uh, accented well basically the grain will be in another color and well there are a lot of methods in which you can do this kind of finish but I experimented with a couple of stuff and well I kind of find a way an easy way easy and cheap to get this result. So basically what you need to get this result is an ash body, some paper to 20 or to 40, some steel wool for all, and the paint or stain that you're going to do overall the body and paint or stain in which you're going to fill up the pores of this body. In my case I'm using a white water-based putty to fill up the grains. And another thing, you need a wire brush. I'll explain you later on. So, the first step is to prepare the body. First of all, you send it up to up to, to 20 or to 40 grit going along the grain so you minimize scratches. I'm not going this body is already well it's not almost ready. I'm not going to send and five minutes sending this body. Okay, well, so when you have the your body ready with sending, I suggest you raise a bit the grain a couple of times. You never know how the paint is going to react with your body, with your body blank. So after you send down up to 240, you sprinkle a bit of water, let it dry, Resend again and do another another pass. Sprinkle more water, let it dry and then send it again. So we're going to eliminate that fuzziness of the grain and just in case that the paint will react with the wood. Now, after that, what I'll do is I get this wire brush and I just go along the grain. In this way you're opening up more, even more, the pores of the wood. And it's quite important you go along the grain rather than across because if you go across you're going to scratch the body. Okay, you're scratching a bit the body like this but along the grain is different to notice. Thank you. 
Yes, as you can see, this body is not properly sanded. I still have blue paint from my front door because recently I was refurbishing my front door. But this is just for demonstration purposes. Now, after the wire brush, it's a good idea to go slightly over the body with the 240 grit just to eliminate that fattiness from the wire brush. Now, the next step it will be to paint or stain the body. Now, you can use paint. In my case, in this case, I used, I'm going to use a, a spray can. A rattle can, a spray can, uh, black. It's, I think it's an acrylic paint, but you can use a good stain. I don't suggest water based because I don't think it's quite covering. Uh, paint is a good idea. So, yeah, let me do, let me paint this body and we can continue. Okay, now the body is ready. I put a couple of coats of black paint. As you might notice, this is not technically the same body. I have two of those. But this was a good way to demonstrate the process. Now that the paint is dry, it's time to get a little bit dirty. As I said, I'm going to use... This is a water-based wood putty. It's kind of a heavy paste. I tried to dil diluate it with water, but the effect didn't really work good. So I just tried a bit straight of the, out of the can and it worked really nice. Now, a piece of rag. And now it's time to go crazy. I like to do, for example, half of it and then do the other half, the end. So you need to rub it really well in the open pores. Yes, I know it looks like a big mess, but it's the way that it's supposed to look. And then get the uh, follow the rule and see the magic happening in front of you. Now look at that. Some spots required a second application to be better. And it's good to put a heavy coat rather than a small coat. I'm not pressing hard with the steel, I'm just slightly gently wiping the, the body. And now we can continue with the other half. Now guys, I am not an expert in finishing. But this is something that I was experimenting with. It's not 
the right way or the proper way to do it. There are different methods. But this is what works for me with what I have and with what I know about finishing. And there it is, guys. Look how beautiful is that. It's too shiny. So, as you've seen, there isn't much into it. The most important is you, when you're going, when you're wiping out with the steel wool, is to go really light because you might end up removing the black paint as I did here a bit but that's not a problem so I'll stain it a bit more and that will cover my little mistake so for today that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and well if you're new here guys please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video hit that notification bell if you want to get notified for future releases i hope you liked it enjoyed it and learned something from it so until the next time guys take care and goodbye